workers at Elwood City Hospital are unsure if they will receive their paychecks tomorrow. Checks from payday two weeks ago still haven't arrived. Others have bounced. Ralph Anati went to Elwood City to find out why there's no money left. New at 11. 2019 is starting out on a sour note here in Elwood City, where many employees of this community's only hospital and even hospital vendors are wondering when and if they're going to be paid. And now more bad news. We've learned that the United Healthcare is canceling hospital insurance, at least temporarily, because of bills piling up. Many employees of the Elwood City Medical Center complain that their most recent biweekly paychecks, dated December 21st, bounced because the new company that acquired the financially struggling Lawrence County Hospital just over one year ago had insufficient funds. And adding insult to injury for some, hospital staffers who found themselves shortchanged by their employer now have to pay a bank penalty of up to $35 through no fault of their own. Employees' next paychecks are due out tomorrow. A Florida-based company, AmeriCorps Health, took over the small century-old Elwood City Hospital back in October 2017 after it reported millions of dollars in losses. AmeriCorps promised to solve the hospital's financial problems, but so far that hasn't happened. The company's CEO told a meeting in November that the worst was over for the hospital, at the same time predicting the hospital would be profitable by the end of 2018. Hospital employees we spoke with said they were under strict orders not to talk to the media or say anything negative about AmeriCorps or they could lose their jobs. On its website, AmeriCorps Health stated, we are a new healthcare company focused on saving and revitalizing rural communities through the acquisition and management of rural hospitals across the country. And tonight we talked with the mayor of Elwood City, Anthony Court. He describes the situation at the hospital as both disheartening and heartbreaking. In Elwood City, I'm Ralph Iannotti, KDKA News.